Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Wednesday, July 13th, 2022. Another damp and cloudy day outside. We had the, the storms move through last evening, and so the deck is still pretty wet out there. So I'm inside again today. Um, hopefully it'll clear off. It's supposed to clear off a little later today and turn into a real nice summer day. But highs in the mid-70s, so we can take that. Um, especially since it's a Wednesday, and that means concert on the square. Uh, Johnny and the Motones tonight, so that should be fun. So, check-in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. Leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I'm going to be having coffee uh, this morning with the crew at Station 3, the fire at the fire station. Um, so, I don't have coffee this morning, but I do have water in my Minnesota Vikings mug. So, cheers, church. Okay. Our devotion today comes from Christ in Our Home, and our writer, I believe, is still Pastor Jennifer. Yeah, Pastor Jennifer from Georgetown, Texas. And our scripture reading is Ecclesiastes 9, 13 to 18. So Ecclesiastes 9, 13 to 18. I've also seen this example of wisdom under the sun. And it seemed great to me. There was a little city with few people in it. A great king came against it and besieged it, building great siege works against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no one remembered the poor, that poor man. So I said, wisdom is better than might. Yet the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heeded. The quiet words of the wise are more to be heeded than the shouting of a ruler among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one bungler destroys much good. Hmm. We don't hear a lot from Ecclesiastes during the church year. We hear uh, basically Ecclesiastes 3, uh, a time for every purpose under heaven. Um, uh, we hear that sometimes, but not too often, I don't think, anything from other parts of Ecclesiastes. So it's good to hear something a little different. So on to Christ in our home. Our The title today is Saving Wisdom. And the verse is verse 16, theme verse. Wisdom is better than might. The writer of Ecclesiastes recounts an instance of a poor man's wisdom being so much stronger than a king's might that it even saved a city from conquest. Yet, says the writer, no one remembered that poor man. Rather than heeding such wisdom, the world gets overrun by the shouting of rulers, weapons of war, and all sorts of bungling that masquerades as wisdom. Thankfully, God has not left us alone with our bungling and foolishness, our shouts and weapons, and the power grasping of people already in power. Instead, divine wisdom keeps calling us to join her feast of bread and wine, offering us life that satisfies and saves. That's from Proverbs 9.1. God even decides to save the world through sometimes bungling believers who proclaim what the world considers foolishness that the power and the wisdom of God are found in the love who suffered, was killed, and is risen. Such loving wisdom may be overlooked by society, but it is what delivers, not just and not just a city, but the whole world. We, we are all too familiar, aren't we, with the shouting of political leaders, the weapons of war, and the bungling that masquerades as wisdom, right? We are familiar with it in our world, and sometimes we are familiar with it within our own lives. We can be the ones who shout, or the ones who fight, or the ones who bungle things. Um, I like how she puts that God decides, decides to save the world through, through the sometimes, believe, bung, sometimes bungling believers that that fits me real well. I, I'm sure it probably fits, fits most of us that we are sometimes bungling believers. But um, we do have a message that is um, that saves the world. 
that Jesus came and lived for us and died for us and, is, and rose for us. And that is, uh, as you know, Paul says in 1 Corinthians, as, as she quotes here, that foolishness uh, to the world, but wisdom to the wise, to those of us who believe. Uh, Christ is a stumbling block and foolishness, but to those who believe it is the power of God. So, yeah. You know, the wisdom of God saves the world. And we as sometimes bungling believers help God in that mission. So, uh, try to be less bungling. <laughs> I'll try to be less bungling too. And uh, we'll go out and we'll help help God save at least our, our part of the world, right? We'll make this our corner of the world a little bit better. That's our 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 uh, our call to to help God bring in the kingdom, uh, to share God's love and light with others. So let's do that today. Be of strong and heart and encourage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Uh, we're in the low range in Marathon County. Hopefully, we can stay that way. But that new BA5 variant is on the rise. So please be careful. Wear those masks and distance as appropriate. We do these things to show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. So let's pray. Stir up your power, holy wisdom, and come. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.